Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. We're just gonna hop right into it. We left on a cliffhanger last time, and uh, yeah. She's pregnant. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. I say one word you okay? Like... I'm, not, I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. You can see, like, the, like, bang, how it, like, gashed mm. through, and then Whatever the bottom teeth Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. No. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? I just want to fix my arm to stop the bleeding. I'm not going to hurt anyone. I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. They have kids here. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. I Not with you firing your fucking gun Not everywhere. Your terrible delaying treatment. But we've got to be sure. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever's set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with... please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for She's you. She's gonna in get the a fever from an infection, but... then. You're literally just like I'm leaving sorry. her to die. It's the best we're gonna get. Like, that's, like... Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. Yikes. But seriously, like, if the fever has a This is just a morning. waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. The fever's gonna set in anyways because you didn't clean it. Maybe there's water in this shed and she can clean it herself. Fucking assholes. Strong, but like 
She can't do everything by herself. Why are we doing this? <sighs> so fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Honestly, man, like I said, they're just gonna leave you to fend for yourself. Just fucking stitch your own arm. There was tools there. Anchor. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Am I gonna have to kill- I don't wanna- I don't wanna kill these guys. I really don't. Like... Come on, Clementine. Search barrel. Okay. Am I supposed to be finding something to help me get that fucking hammer? Because I'm assuming I have to get out through there. Is there anything over here? There's a table. Now there's a ton of weapons in this shed, so I'm assuming that if they try and come in here when we try to sneak out, they're, uh, they're gonna get hurt, or we're gonna have to hurt them, which I don't like. Guess we're leaving this place. We have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Oh great, no, we're sneaking into the fucking house. Find a way into the cabin and take a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. <laughs> so don't give me shit. I need some air. Oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? 
I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Yeah, but you're gonna get me in trouble. Please, I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Mm. Yes, you are. Don't you do that. I see what you're doing. <laughs> I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I, see I what saw you're doing. when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Clementine. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. We got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble. Just talking to you. No one else will help me. Yeah, for good reason. I'm just a little girl. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. Do you understand? Yes. What do you need? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. Hell yeah. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get. I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. Maybe he can get peroxide or alcohol, like a bottle of vodka or something. I found you some bandages. Sweet. And I, uh... I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Oh. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. Hmm. I need a needle first. At the very least. Okay. You need a needle and peroxide. Oh, I can't go this way. Can I? Of course. Locked. There's a plank here. These controls just like don't want to cooperate with me. I feel like I'm gonna die a lot because of them. Use the hammer. There's a bathroom above me. Trap door. Oh fuck, I broke the knife. I should use the hammer. <laughs> Yikes. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. Oh, I literally have no other option. I have to open the door. Could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. 
There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. Thank you. Oh fuck, we're in a... no, we shouldn't be in this room. He's got nothing, I don't think. I don't think he's got anything. That's the door to get out. Can I get around the couch, please? Why couldn't I have gone this whole way? What? I. Th These mechanics are a bit janky. Not gonna lie. I mean, they've always been janky because, like. It's, but, like, this. The second one is way more janky than the first. Help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? <laughs> I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Mm. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. But it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle with thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kind of burns. I don't know if he has stuff for sewing though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. <gasps> Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Okay, I can't hurt her now. A pinky swears forever. What are you, five? I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Well, yeah, because it's gonna freaking hurt and she's gonna be, like, screaming bloody murder. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, so now we need like a sewing set. We still need a needle. I know. I really don't think that there's anything. Linen closet? Maybe there's a sewing set? No. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. 
Apparently not in here. Oh, medicine cabinet. Needle, yes. It's clean. Just put, let's put it in our back pocket. I guess that's all I need. I better get out of here. This is where it gets tricky. That man sometimes. I'm gonna have to hide in the shower. Well, linen closet, actually. This baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his. <sighs> you, you cheater. Yikes. I do not want to deal with any of the bullshit that this fucking these people are dealing with. There's one last room, but I don't even know if I should be checking it. I'll take a watch. Don't really care for the board game. I guess. No, fine, I'll look at the board game. Global Menace. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. stairs and the first door we see Jesus the stairs are so fucking creaky about anything they have to say. I'm just leaving. Don't care. Don't care. Do not care. So sorry, Clementine. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. You're good. Now the fun part. Mm.
I'm hoping that I can use the, uh, the juice box after to like give her some sugar back, maybe from like the loss of blood. Don't know if I should have drank it first. Now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. Oh, what am I supposed to be doing? sitting down to do it. Sit down. Last one, last one, I promise, last one. All the noise she's making, Jesus Christ. It's not the best sewing job, but, uh, sure. did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? The shed should have been safe. I'm not saying anything. The girl's tougher than I thought. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. I tried to leave, but you guys told me I had to Bring her lock in, myself and I'll take a look up in the fucking arm. shed. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? You could have just left. I wanted to. I wanted to leave, but you had locked me up in the shed. The fuck you mean you could have just left? Get out of here with that shit. Okay, calm down there, itchy finger. This might hurt a little. Ow. How's she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? 
If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Good thing I got to it in time, and good thing I cleaned it in time. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Hmm. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. She's stupid and you don't okay. tell her anything? She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. Maybe you should tell her She's and stop babying girl. her. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. That's a lot of pressure, considering we're all human. Maybe you should tell that to the girl that cheated on her husband. It's just me, though. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. <laughs> what? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. What do you want? Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's right. been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I get it. I do. Yeah. Okay, if she was nine, 16 months later, she's like. So, since you're 11 now? Pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? Probably not. They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked.
Bless you. Parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm -mm. You're still here. <laughs> yeah, what do you want, Moody? I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. What? Who? Don't pull that shit on me. I'm not my husband. What? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Yes, you do. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. I won't stay long. Good, because I don't trust you. And stay the hell away from my husband. Which one? <sighs> People like that. I get it, you're untrusting, but you don't need to be rude. I think that's a good place to leave it uh, before it gets into anything else. Um, leave a like. It lets me know I'm doing an okay job and that uh, you guys are enjoying the Walking Dead series. Make sure you uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel for more videos with me and all my friends or videos like this where I'm by myself. Um, I also stream live on Twitch, so if you want to come and hang out, the link is down below as well. It's uh, just twitch.tv slash mousey116. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video or stream. Bye!